everybody, it's Jill for today. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope that you'll like what you're going to see today and that you might uh, consider subscribing. And hello to all my regular visitors and subscribers. I'm so happy to see you back. So today I am making a delicious, healthy muffin. Um, if you'll recall, I did a, a muffin a few days ago, and I'll leave the link up there, that was a total disaster. Um, I pulled out my recipe box, and I found one today that is more in line with what I am used to making. So, it is a muffin with carrots and walnuts and raisins and oats and some whole wheat flour and some unbleached flour. It's a super good recipe. So, I'm going to bring you down, and we're going to get started. So in my bowl here, and I'm going to bring you in tight so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, that's much better for you. All right, in my bowl right now, I have some unbleached white flour, some whole wheat flour, which is pastry style. It's, it gives you a better lift in your uh, baking. So if you're going to do muffins or anything along that line, uh, cakes, you'll want to get that uh, soft wheat or pastry whole wheat flour. Then I have some brown sugar here and interestingly enough about this brown sugar I took it out of my container and you know how brown sugar gets real lumpy and hard I ran it through a sieve and you know through a strainer and I got rid of all those little bumps So hopefully that'll be smooth in there and now to this I am going to add some baking soda That's a half a teaspoon and I'll have all the measurements for you. So I'm going to do some baking soda here <clears throat> some baking powder. Where is my baking powder here? Hmm. There it is. I couldn't see it. That's what happens when you start to get old, right? Okay, my baking powder and my baking soda. And then some salt. Just a little tiny bit of salt. And then we're going to add some nutmeg. Oh gosh, it smells so good. It smells so good. A little bit of that. I feel like a scientist in here today with all my things. It may seem like a lot, but I'll bet you most of this you have in your own cupboards. That's a little bit of cinnamon. So I've got the salt, the nutmeg, the cinnamon, the baking powder, and the baking soda. Good, got all my ingredients. You know, one thing I wanted to mention as I'm mixing this up about ingredients. You know, sometimes people think that maybe you set, you know, when you're doing a demonstration, cooking demonstration, that all the items are set up so they're right there for you. And in my case, I always do this. Whenever I'm baking or cooking anything for myself, uh, you know, for, for us off camera, I put everything out. And, and measure it if I possibly can because it's terrible to be in the middle of a recipe and you say oh my gosh where's the baking soda and you're running around your kitchen trying to find your baking soda so that's not always a great deal so that's what I actually do so I've got all this mixed up now I'm going to add some rolled oats and some raisins and one of the things I did with these raisins is I took a little bit of the flour and uh, really maybe a teaspoon or two and I sort of just dusted these raisins that helps them stay unclumped yeah, here's a couple that are clumped there it helps them you know kind of break apart also when you're baking with them it actually helps keep those raisins suspended um, so they don't you know all fall to the bottom all right so I've got my baking soda nutmeg got to make sure all my stuff is in here Yes, and I'm going to add my walnuts now. Okay. Next, we move on to the wet ingredients. I'm going to get all my dry stuff out of the way here. We have some a little tiny bit of vegetable oil, just a little tiny bit, and an egg, and a little tiny bit of milk, and a mashed ripe banana and I like to take any bananas I have that are really you know overripe for us and I, uh, I freeze them and then I pull them out as I need them for banana nut bread you know whatever that might be and I defrost them and they're just beautiful they're actually better they have a much better flavor so I'm going to mix this up just a little bit and then I'm going to put my carrots in here <clears throat> And when you're making a recipe that has carrots, and it's, they're grated especially, but if you have a recipe that's gonna call for carrots way at the end, 
I grate mine last. That's the last thing I do is grate the carrots because they will oxidize. You know how sometimes they turn brown? So if you do that at the very end, the grating part of it, um, you'll find that they won't, they won't turn brown on you so quickly. And I'm going to show you, um, let me pull some out here so you can see. This is, uh, this would you not want to do this like on one of those um, grating planers, you know. This is, the, this is a box grater I have. And I use this one right here. Um, it's a little finer, but it's not as fine as a planer. I think with a planer, you're going to, first of all, take you forever to, um, to grate them up. And then secondly, uh, it's just too fine. So, and again, when you're doing a quick bread, you don't want to sit there and beat it like a cake. You want to just get everything well mixed in there. Get that scraped off. Make sure I've got everything in there. And I'm going to double check my recipe, which is something you always should do. All right, let's see what I have in there. I have the nutmeg, salt, oats, raisins, egg, milk, carrots, oil, banana, flour, brown sugar, and baking soda. We are good to go, and the walnuts. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my a baking sheet, or my cookie uh, muffin tin, and I'll be back. I have my uh, muffin tin here, lined with my nice little uh, silicone cupcake shells. And what's weird is I have 12 of them. One of them has run away. I have searched everywhere, can't find it. I always store them together. One is gone. So I'm using a paper one. Don't know what happened to it. I'm going to use a quarter cup measure to try to keep these all about the same size so they bake evenly. I'm going to do just a few here for you. And then I will, um, can you see there? Yeah. Then I will put the rest of these in and pop it into the oven. They're going to bake for about 18 minutes and I will put a toothpick into the center of them. I could even use a, you know, a real nice small uh, knife, sharp knife, and if it comes out clean, same thing with the uh, same thing with the toothpick, then, um, you know, then we know they're done. So I will be right back. Okay, these are ready to go in the oven. Again, it's at a 400 degree preheated oven, middle rack of your oven, and they're gonna take mm, 18 minutes probably, but of course I'll let you know exactly what the time is on my oven. And I'll bring them out and show them to you before we have a chance to cool and taste them. Then the director is in his office today and I know he's patiently awaiting a muffin with his afternoon coffee. So we'll be back when these are ready to go. These look amazing. All kinds of wonderful ingredients in there. Walnuts, carrots, oh, a whole wheat flour. Mm, it's going to be delicious. So we're going to take a taste right now. Are you ready to give these a try? I don't know. The last <laughs> time I tasted muffins, they weren't that oh, great. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, I left a link up there so they could see <laughs> the other ones. But oh. these, oh, these look amazing. Why don't you go ahead, take a piece of that off, and tell me how you, how you like them. Now, be nice, but be truthful. Mm hmm Oh, yeah. That's what they're supposed to taste like. Now we're talking. Mm -hmm. Oats. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm. Mm. That's good. I wish I had a cup of coffee or a cup of tea to go with You'll that. get one. I pulled this out of my, my recipes. What I tried to do before was take a recipe and make it like over the top wrong. And this is delicious. Mm -hmm. It really is, folks. I mean, it's moist. Actually, you know, if you wanted to, you could actually reverse the whole wheat with the white. Make it whole, more whole wheat. You know, there's a certain amount of whole wheat and a certain, does it, never mind. Anyway, I'll make what, some notes. No what taste. do I know? It tastes good. That's the all I care The spices about. are delicious. It's moist. Mm. It's very tender. Very moist. The carrots are cooked, and yet they've held their, held mm -hmm. their own. The raisins, everything is just delicious. And you delicious. could use whatever kind of nuts you want. Absolutely. These are walnuts. You could use uh, almonds. You could use pecans would be really good. Hazelnuts, Hazelnuts would, be great. would be wonderful. Um, anyway, this is, and I guess really, you know, if you wanted to, you could leave out the cinnamon and use like cranberries, dried cranberries. Mm -hmm. But I think, uh, you know, the dried cranberries do have a lot of sh actual sugar mm -hmm. on them. So it's a very healthy, uh, yes. You could probably put a little maple syrup in that. 
You could instead of the brown sugar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. So these are delicious. I really hope you'll give this recipe a try. And I'll give you all the instructions because this, this is what it's all about. This is how they're supposed I'm to be. I'm going to try a couple after we get off camera. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. If you're new and you liked what you mm -hmm. saw, I hope you'll subscribe and give us a thumbs up. To my regular viewers, you know how much I love you, right? So if you are a, not a subscriber and you do subscribe, there's a little tiny bell down below there where it says subscribe. If you hit that, I'll tell you what, right now, you are going to be the first one, it, aren't they? They're going to be the first one who knows why I've uploaded, <laughs> not uploaded a video. Well, I am. Anyway, um, thanks a lot for watching. Tell your friends, subscribe. I have a small affiliate to Amazon shop. And if you go into the link down below and do some shopping, I get a very tiny commission. And I thank you for that. Let's go have a muffin. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.